Oh, what's up, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. As we say, time is time here in the internet. It can be any time. You can be watching this any day, any night. It could be 100 years from now. Anyway, but hello and welcome to our class with Herm. I'm Herm right here. I'm an artist and illustrator. Huge love for baseball and an even bigger love for drawing baseball. So I really want to share my love of drawing with you guys every week. So we're going to be focusing our drawings around a baseball type theme, most likely involving the Mets because that's my favorite team. So hopefully it's one of your favorite teams too. Cool. So today is July 1st, which is amazing. I can't believe that we're like right in the mid thick of the thick of summer. That was really hard to say. You guys try it. All right, cool. You guys sound like me. That's excellent. So if this is your first time here, welcome. This is actually our 24th episode, which is really, really great. So uh, if you're a completist like me, not to worry. We have all of our previous episodes backlogged on all of the seven line social feeds. So if you're watching this on Instagram or Twitter, just simply scroll back and you can view all of those other episodes and continue to draw along with us. Uh, if YouTube is more your thing, not to worry as well, just go to artclasswithherm.com. That's gonna bring you to a list of all of our previous 23 classes and this one now that you're watching, which is cool. So if you wanna binge watch some Art Class with Herm, that's the spot. You can check it all out on your TV and all that and it's gonna be really, really fun. So if, if you really like what you're drawing and like what you're seeing, uh, do us a favor and uh, you know like, like and subscribe. You can click here. I always wanted to do that. Click here or here. Uh, anyway, but yeah, share along with friends and family so we can help the team grow and the show grow and we can keep bringing you these really fun drawings to do. Great. So that's uh, some of the work that we had in our little chores that we had there, but uh, welcome. In our last class, we changed up our class a little bit and we made like a more of an arts and crafts kind of project. So we made some home run apple hats, which was out of this world fun. So thanks for everyone that joined us and shared along with us. So those pictures are really great. So like what we do on every episode, we like to pick three of our favorite drawings from the past week or that people have sent with us and give them a $10 gift card that they can use on the Seven Lines website. So this week, big shout outs to Kiera, Noel, and Thomas. So excellent work, guys. Your hats looked amazing. And Thomas, I loved your city, excuse me, the Shea uh, scoreboard, the old school skyline. That looked really, really cool. So remember, everybody, it does, your drawing doesn't have to be the most recent thing. You can draw anything and just send it along and we'll throw that into that kind of pool on there. Cool. All right. So before we get started, let's talk about the supplies we're going to be needing today. So we don't really have many rules here on our class with Herm, but uh, I'm going to be using something to draw with, like a pen or a pencil or some colored crayons, colored crayons, right? Colored pencils and stuff. I got those right here. Um, just whatever you want to draw on. I got a standard piece of paper that I took right from my printer. So that's eight and a half by 11 sheet, but you could use any bigger size if you wanted to. And that's pretty much it. So if you wanted to try paints and all that, go for that. We can get it. Cool. And then uh, before we get started, too, uh, this episode is brought to you by Sail Away Coffee, our good friends there. Ta -da, look at that little drawing. That's fun. I'm drinking the Captain's Blend, mm. which is one of my favorite. I really like hot coffee. But if you like cold brew, which I like to check out their Sail Away Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. Uh, it's infused with nitrogen and gives an incredible creamy texture. It's organic, dairy and gluten free. You can check that out at SailAwayCoffee.com. And what's even awesomer, too, is they hooked up all of our viewers here with a 20 percent off coupon. So you can pick whatever you want. They have some like donut packages and T-shirts and delicious coffee, obviously. Uh, and if at checkout, you just type in Herm, H-E-R-M, two zero, so Herm 20, you get 20% off your order. So I know some people have been checking that out. Please enjoy it. Thank you, Sail Away Coffee, for that awesome generosity and delicious coffee. Cool. Awesome, guys. Well, I appreciate you listening to me talk. I know that that's exciting, but let's talk about what we're really here. So today, it is almost 4th of July, and we are going to draw... Look at that. We got Mr. and Mrs. Met enjoying a beautiful firework display right in their backyard 
or looking over the bay or wherever they're living. I wonder what Mr. and Mr. Met live. Do you think they live at City Field? Maybe underneath the Shea Bridge, someplace nice, maybe in the upper decks? Anyway, but yeah, so this is going to be a lot of fun on here. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this drawing here. And then when we get up to the fireworks and stuff, we're going to have, a, it's going to be really loose. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. We can draw baseball bats hot dogs and i'm going to show you how to make some fireworks and by the way we make them with these dots and these crayons that we have we're going to be able to have a lot of fun and make it look like they're like popping out in the sky cool awesome all right let's get started guys all right so i am going to be drawing horizontally so that means i'm taking my paper and i'm like laying it sideways on here so the longer part is on the top so it's up to you how you guys want to draw, but that's how I'll be doing mine. And I'm going to be grabbing my pen right here to get this started. And let's see. So again, we always want to like think about where we're going to be drawing. So for me, I'm going to be having like Mr. Met right here and then Mrs. Met right here. And then like I'll have his arm coming up on her sleeve, you know. So they're like, you know, loving embrace, showing how fun they're having on 4th of July. All right, guys, so let's grab our, our pen, pencil, or brush, whatever we're drawing with. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw Mr. Met's hat right here. Now, this is really cool. So if you've actually have drawn on all of our other classes, this is the first time we're drawing like the back of Mr. and Mrs. Met. On the back a bit. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw my hat right here and I'm gonna make like this like rainbow shape, right? So I'm gonna come up like this. And I'm going to make this shape like that. So this here, this is going to be the top of Mr. Met's hat, right? So now I'm going to have a little curve line at the bottom there. That curve is just like that. Can you guys see that? So all I did is I made that curve line at the top, almost like a rainbow shape. And then I made like a smiley face at the bottom to connect both of those points there. So this right now, this is like, you know, the part of the hat that covers your head, right? Let's make that little bump at the top there. That's for that little button at the top. I just kind of popped that up right there. So now that we have that hat here, you know what? I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, if you have like a fitted hat, you know, they have like that logo in the back. So let's make a little rectangle back there. So this is that logo. Usually it's for a baseball team or whatever kind of brand on there. I kind of like that. All right, so look at that. So we already have Mr. Metat, which is cool. So let's draw Mr. Met's head right now. So obviously Mr. Met's head is a baseball, <laughs> so it's nice and round. So we're just gonna draw a circle that comes across like this. So I'm gonna start on my left and I'm just gonna come around and I'm gonna make a circle. Just like this that comes right on across. There we go. So what we like to talk about here is don't worry if it's not a perfect circle. When we're drawing, it makes it fun to have like some kind of fun lines, you know, that are kind of all over the place. So you can start to see right now, it almost looks like an ice cream cone in a way, right? <laughs> we have our round Mr. Methead in our hat there. Great. So a baseball has like the stitching, right? Because it's like sewn together. Let's add that stitching in for Mr. Met's head. So on the left up here, I'm going to come up and I'm going to make this line. But I'm going to have like a bump right there. It's going to come down like this and then kind of bump up again up there. So you see what I mean? Like I came down, I went out a little bit, bent down, came down for that smiley face, and then came up again up there on that side. So this is like our stitching line that we have right there. So now let's go in, let's add that threading on there, those little stitch marks. So in order to do that, I kind of draw like, they're like little hearts. So I'm gonna draw like one bump like that and then one part like this. Can you guys see that? There we go, I almost missed my camera. So just like that, so kind of hearts, and I'm gonna follow this all the way down with our stitching line that we made right here. So when you're drawing this, you see how my little heart shapes that I'm making here? They're like changing shape or direction rather as they go along the line of our stitching here. So just make sure you do that too. 
that way it'll look really fun in your drawing there. So like they're coming down and now they're kind of facing their way up right there. And we'll just pop those in. There we go. So like now we have like, you can see, right? This is like the back of Mr. Matt's head and there's his hat right there. Cool. All right. So let's take a peek here. So this is this is our final drawing that we're looking at. So now we're going to have like his arm holding Mrs. Matt a bit. So we're going to draw this kind of shape in there. Oops, I took both my drawings. All right. So now that we have that up here, let's go ahead and let's draw Mr. Matt's arm, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this side of the paper, sort of like the left side of Mr. Matt's head here. And I'm just going to pull up and I'm going to make like this kind of shape right here. You see this? So basically I made like a like a letter C, <laughs> almost a kind of like a weird big letter C in a way. It's like not as curved, but flattened out. So you went up, curved down and came in. So that's going to be his sleeve right there. So then for fun, I'm going to add two little curved lines right here. So one line right there and then another line like right here. So this is, I like my favorite jersey is the blue one that they wear. And they have like this orange stripe right here. So I added that in right there so, so we can do that. And then right here, I'm going to draw like a half circle for like our Mets logo that's on the sleeve there. So it's going to be basically two smiley faces. So there's one right there. And then let's add another smiley face on the inside right there. Yeah, just like that. You guys see that there? So the reason that I made it like half right here is because you want to make it look like Mr. Met's arm is like 3D, right? So that means like half of the other side of that circle or that patch is on the other side there. So it gives it a little more shape like it's 3D. All right. So now that we have his hat, his head and his sleeve here, let's go ahead and let's add his arm that he's going to have around Mrs. Met. So to do that, Basically, I'm going to have my lines are going to be thicker here and they're going to thin out towards the wrist. So like here towards the sleeve, it's going to be wider and then it's going to get a little thinner or smaller once we get to the wrist here. So to do that, I'm sorry if my big old freckly hands in the way, I'm going to pick where I want. So maybe like right about here and I'm going to draw a line that comes down like this. Just like that right there. And then the same thing on the bottom. So again, come down a little bit. Let me come up and make it a little bit thinner. So you see that shape right there? So you can see it's wider here and then it gets thinner right here. Great. So Mr. and Mrs. Met, they wear like gloves on their hand. You know, like some other famous cartoon characters you might have noticed from watching TV and stuff. So we're going to do that here too. So in order to do that, we're going to put like this glove kind of shape on Mr. Met's hand. So to do that, we're going to draw like this kind of like a curved shape. You see that right there? So you see there's like that little, like almost like another letter C at the end of his sleeve by his wrist there. And I'm gonna do that one more time. So the reason that we made this shape, you guys know when you put your glove on the winter time, there's like the, the part of your wrist that goes in. That's what this is. It's kind of like the inside of the glove that he's popping on. All right. So. Let's stay away from his hand for just a second. And now let's start to draw Mrs. Met. Now, once we draw Mrs. Met head here, we can finish in our hand a little bit so it kind of fits in a little bit better. So let's take a look real quick. So Mrs. Met is we're gonna draw right here. So I'm gonna have her with this like ponytail and this little um, like scrunchy kind of thing right here. So, and then we're gonna have Mr. Met kind of folding in right in there. All right. So let's draw another hat like we did right here. But this time I'm gonna make it tilted a little bit because she's like, rest, Mrs. Met is resting her head on Mr. Met's giant head. That's kind of funny. All right, so we're gonna draw this shape again. So, and so I'm gonna have another little curved line that comes up. Something like this, right? So I just made this kind of a curved line that goes in. And then at the bottom here, I'm gonna make this smiley face line again, like right here. There we go. So you see, this is the hat. And again, remember, she's resting her head on Mr. Met's shoulder here. 
So let's add that other little bump at the top there, that little button, and that little rectangle in the back right there. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's draw that Mrs. Met, famous Mrs. Met baseball head, right? So we're going to draw another like half circle because again, she's like resting it on Mr. Met's shoulder. So we're not going to see her whole head here. So right here, I'm going to come across with this kind of circle here and kind of fit in like this. Can you guys see that there good enough? So you could see like normally if we continued with the circle, it would go like all the way here. But again, we want it to stop here. So it looks like Mr. Met's arms around here. This is really fun. This is a cool drawing. All right. So, so I got my, my, my ceiling fan on. All right, so let's try Mrs. Met's ponytail right now. So to do that, I'm gonna come, her ponytail's gonna come like right about here, right? So I'm gonna come up with this bump up here and I'm gonna make this kind of a shape. So almost like the letter S, you see that a little bit? Like that's the letter S, but it's kind of sideways. So that's like the bigger part here. And then it comes down like that. So now to make her ponytail here, I'm gonna come up a little bit and make this kind of like a curl. Like this right there. So you see that little curl? And then I'm just gonna come around and gonna continue and kind of make this kind of shape right there. It almost looks like her ponytail is flexing, you know, given a big, like that emoji arm muscle. That was me showing off my muscles, it's really small. Hopefully you can zoom in and make me feel better about myself. But anyway, look at that, look at that ponytail. That's nice, right? So let's go in now and let's add that like scrunchie or hair tie. Do people call it a scrunchie? I'm a bald man. I don't know much <laughs> about hair, but so a little, let's call it a hair tie. It sounds less 1990s. All right, so what to do that? We're just gonna kind of make these like, kind of like little cur curved shapes there. So that's like that. And then another one like this. There we go. So you see like the ponytail right here and then that little hair tie. So now the last thing we're gonna do with our hair is I'm just gonna make a curved line that comes down like right about here. So again, I just made a line here and here. That's up a little bit higher than her ponytail because this is gonna be her hair and then we can color this in right here. Cool, right? So you can start to see what we're getting with, with our drawing. And then with this little bit here, so this is like the, the baseball part. I'm gonna draw a little line here, another little curved line. And I'm gonna add some more stitching like we did right here. So those hearts, one like that, and kind of pop this in. What's really fun is if, you know, when you're drawing Mr. and Mrs. Met as many times as we have, you can see they're very, obviously it's as long as you get the circle and the stitching and the hat, you can have them doing whatever you want, you know, like grocery shopping or watching fireworks and stuff. So, so if you get bored later and you wanna draw Mr. Met like watching TV with you or something, this is how you do it. Cool. All right, so let's finish off this hand real quick. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here on the left and I'm just gonna make this like kind of a curved line like that, that comes out. It's a little curved, so you can see that he's like kind of holding it right there. All right, not too bad, right? So, so now that we have the heads and his arm holding her, let's come over here on the side of Mrs. Met, and I'm gonna come down a little bit. I'm just gonna draw this line. That comes down just like that. That's gonna be like her back. So I made that line right there. And then like right here, I'm gonna come up with another line. We're gonna make her sleeve. I'm gonna come down with the curved line and come up like that. So you can see we kind of have this like her sleeve right there, right? And then I'm gonna make this other arm, that, this other line that comes down just like this here. And that's gonna be her arm. So what's really fun about this is you can make the jerseys they're wearing be any type of jersey you want. You know, we talk about that with blue jerseys, the black jerseys, the striped jerseys, that sort of thing. So this one, I'm going to make her have the striped jersey with the blue stripes. So I believe that it doesn't have this kind of ribbon on it that Mr. Met has, that kind of border. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave that one blank right there. All right. So kind of like what we did right here with the body shape of Mrs. Met, let's do the same thing with Mr. Met right here. So I'm going to come here on the right and I'm going to come down a little bit and I'm going to add this curved line. It comes down just like that. 
<laughs> see that? So this is Mr. Med. You know, he's got his back right there, holding, holding his love. And then right here, let's draw another little curved line, almost like a bell shape. Let me come down a bit. So you can see this is his other sleeve. You see, Mrs. Met's sleeve, Mr. Met's sleeve. And just like, you know, again, here, I'm going to draw that blue jersey with that kind of like a, a border, a little ribbon there. I'm going to add that right here, too. You can pop that there. And then let's add that Mr. Met arm in there. So just another little line. Awesome, right? This is what's really fun about drawing, guys. With just these short little tricks we did in a way, and with lines, you can see, doesn't it look like Mr. Met is holding her, right? Her head's kind of hidden in there. So that's really cool to do that. All right. So let's add a little bit more to their jersey, right? So Mr. Met's jersey back here says Mr. Met. So I'm going to write Mr. Met here. But again, you can write whatever you want there. If you wanted Mr. Met to be wearing your favorite player's jersey, like Alonzo or Seaver or McNeil or DeGrom, whatever you want, you can put that name back here now. But I'm going to write Mr. Met. So I'm going to make it in these bubble letters here. So Mr. Now, the reason that I like to draw these bubble letters on the jersey is it makes it more fun to color, right? So you can write and whatever kind of like word font, I guess, that you want here. So I'm gonna write Mr. Net in these bubble letters here. So there's the T. There we go, look at that's kind of cute, right? And then I like to add that heavenly glow. So I just kind of like outline it really loosely, a little bit around the shape. So you can see I'm not going around here to be perfect, just kind of adding this little heavenly glow, as I say, around the outside of it. Again, so it looks fun when we color it. Now, Mr. Met's jersey number is a double zero. So I'm going to add, start to draw like some zeros here. But again, here, some of his, his whole body here is not showing in our drawing. So I'm just going to draw like half of the zero, like the top part. So I'm going to add like one half part here. You see, just like this kind of shape right here. And then let's draw the inside, same thing. So there's that zero, right, that top part. Let's do the same thing over here. And you can see there that I'm like kind of, again, just like we did with the heart shapes, shapes on the stitches, I'm following the body, the body pose here. So you see he's kind of leaning in, so the zeros are going to follow along with that as well. Excellent. How are you guys doing? Good? They look amazing, your drawings. So. Let's go in again and let's add that heavenly glow to those, those zeros. So again, just a little light, a little bit of line out there. So it's adding in. Do you guys have any big 4th of July plans? Maybe a barbecue. Hopefully you guys are staying safe, you know. It's going to be an interesting 4th of July. Not too many fireworks and stuff. But if you are like in my neighborhood, there's fireworks every night, it sounds like. So my little my little my little Chihuahua Daikon, her ear has been sticking up. She hates the fireworks. They really scare her. But she's good. All right. So there we go. We got Mr. Met and the zeros here. So let's add some zeros here on the back of Mrs. Met. And the reason I'm not gonna you can write Mrs. Met if you want right here, but her arm, Mr. Met's arm is gonna be kind of covering it in my drawing here. So again, I'm just gonna have like those zeros that come through here. I love that they're both double zero. Have there been any Mets players that have been zero? I guess not, just Mr. Met, right? The first one that comes, I think, remember Turk Wendell? I think he was 99, but I can't. Oh, Strowman. Oh, he's zero, right, that's right. I think it's Strowman. Darren was just in my ear. I don't know if you guys were able to hear him. We're, we're trying a new little setup here. So if you didn't hear him, that was my idea. I knew that all along. I didn't have any coaching. All right. So there's that right there. Cool. So you can see we have our zeros right there and our Mr. Met and our Mr. Met crew. And Mrs. Met family here is all done. So now let's have some fun and let's add some fireworks in there. So this is what I drew in my like um, original drawing here. Well, you can get really, really creative with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna draw these things, 
But when I show you how to draw these things, if you think about the way that I'm showing you with like the dots, you can take that idea and make it anything you want. Hot dogs, sneakers, a car, eh, fireworks, you can make anything. So I'm a big fan of Let's Go Mets. So to do that, I'm just going to take whatever you're drawing with. You can go straight to crayons now if you want, or pencil. I like to add this black line in there. I really like the way it pops up. So I'm going to draw Let's Go Mets. I'm going to do a big L G M. So all I'm going to do with whatever you're drawing with, I'm just going to go make these dots here. I'm just going to go. So I'm going to make like a bubble letter for the L. You guys see that? I'm basically just drawing the letter L, but kind of outlining it with these dots. So there's an L. I'm going to put the G right here. Now, don't worry when you're making your dots here for these letters if it doesn't look exactly like that letter. Because you can kind of see, like, like I can see in my, in my brain here that that's an L and that's a G. When we color it in in just a minute, it's really going to pop. And you're really going to see the letters there. So now let's make that M. So there's our M right there. You can add that F there if you want. This is a family show. We're going, we're going old school here. <laughs> so there's our LGM for Let's Go Mets. See they're looking at it there. And then fireworks, they like explode, right? They're like, poo. So we're just gonna have these lines that just go like, Psh, just like this, like one kind of popping out. And if you take your, your pen or your pencil or your pen, whatever you're using, and you kind of start here in the middle and then just like shoot out like that, you see that like kind of explosion shape? You can kind of get that fun look. Let's add a couple more though. So like one, one, two, and you just kind of pop out how you want. So again, if you just pop it down there and flick really quick, you can get that same thing with a pencil or a pen, right? Let me add another one up here. Poo, poo, sound effects, optional. Have fun with it. <laughs> so I'm making some firework shapes right there. There's just a couple there. So now, just like we did with these LGM, I'm gonna draw some more kind of shapes here in the sky. So what's my favorite thing to eat at a baseball game is a hot dog. So what's more American and 4th of July than a hot dog, right? So let's make a hot dog shape. So I'm just gonna make like these kind of little bumps again. So this here, this little like curved rectangle, this is my bun and this is the hot dog here. And then I'm going to put another little couple ones back here for another bun. You'll see it more when we color it, I promise. What else? Oh, I love popcorn. So popcorn, I'm going to draw like these kind of shapes. So this kind of like this horseshoe shape. Then there's this little bump. So if you want to see how we draw hot dogs and popcorn, check out episode two, where we draw some hot dogs, our favorite ballpark food at the end of that episode, it's the home run apple one. So you know what? I can't just have one piece of the popcorn. Let's draw one more in there. How about a baseball, right? Let me put a baseball up here. So I'm just gonna make a circle with our dots. Sorry if my big freckly hands in the way there. So there's like a circle for a baseball and I'll put like our little stitching in there. Maybe it's some little smaller dots. And then I'll put like little those little stitches in there. Again, when we put our crayons on there, it's gonna look really cool. What else? Maybe a bat, right? So a bat, they're thinner and they get thicker towards the top, right? So just like our sleeve. So again, it's bigger here and then it thins out towards the bottom. And there's the bottom right there. Great. So again, remember you could put anything you want in here. You could write your name, Happy 4th of July, um, it's endless. And you could do anything you want, which is really cool. So let's color in these fireworks real quick, right? So let's see, whoops, oh my goodness. I always keep my crayons here, then they fall everywhere. So I'm gonna add, so maybe I'll make my G blue. So you see, I'm just coloring inside the shape right now. You see how it's popping out? You can see that G a lot better now, right? Now I may, I'll use this orange here. 
and kind of pop that in right there. So you see what I mean before? So it's basically like those dots are just kind of like the, the explosion, the pop part of our fireworks. And then we're just coloring in the inside right here. So, you know, our team here are blue and orange. And what's really cool, I forgot to mention as we're coloring here, it's July 1st, the Mets are back in town. Baseball is starting spring training 2.0. I think they're calling it. So oh, with our fireworks here, I'm just going to kind of outline the color. So orange and then some blue. And I'll kind of pop that through. So it's going to be cool. We'll be watching some real live baseball in the very near future. I think they're saying the 24th or 25th they're going to start. So no fans as of right now in order to keep, you know, everybody safe. But... If anybody wants to let me in to sit all by myself on the upper deck to draw, you know my number. <laughs> so again, I'm just having fun here. I'm just throwing some blue and orange for our fireworks. And then what I'll do is I'm going to take some dots. So I'm going to take some orange and just make these dots kind of all over just to add a little more beauty in the sky there. Some orange around there. Now I'll take some blue. Same thing, just kind of making these dots around. <laughs> Fireworks are really fun to draw because there's like no wrong way to do it, right? You can just kind of have fun making that. So let's go in now, let's see. So uh, I'm gonna take a, like a light brown. I'm gonna make like a baseball bat. So I'll color that in there, just a little light brown. You see that there? I think my hot dog, Little brown right there. So that's that. Let me get my yellow crayon. There we go. And so I'm gonna make the bun of my hot dog a little yellow. But you see my point here, right? When you color it in, it really pulls it together a little bit. So let's color in that popcorn right there. Gosh, I love popcorn. What's your guys' favorite snack? Popcorn to me is the end all be all. I celebrate its entire catalog. You get me that big Christmas bucket, I'm eating it all. All right, so then I'll add a little red here because baseballs are white, right? For fireworks, a little red there for our, um, our stitching. So now I'm gonna color in Mr. and Mrs. Nut here. So I'm gonna use my blue and I'm gonna color in the hats. Kind of popping all that in right there. Pop that in there too. So I love this. So let me ask you guys. So while we're coloring it in right here, and again, I'm going to make my jersey on Mr. Met blue. When you guys go to a baseball game, what do you like to wear? Do you wear like a t-shirt of the team of the Mets? Do you wear like a, a player jersey? I kind of like to switch mine up. I like to wear a jersey. I think they're pretty cool. But then what jersey do you wear? I'd love to get a Mr. Met jersey. I think that would be pretty cool. The big double O, Mr. Met on the back there. Be kind of fun. So you can see I have my, my Mr. Met jerseys like darker blue. And then for his sleeves, I like to make his arms like a light blue. So to make it a light blue, I'm just gonna color in a little lighter. So you see that they're, they're still blue, it's just a little bit lighter there. And then I'll make some pinstripes in Mrs. Met's jersey here. And you guys can feel free to draw whatever you want here, whatever colors. I'm just gonna kind of put this all together here. So I'm doing mine pretty rough, just kind of filling in those shapes there so we can get something kind of cool so you guys can see what I'm talking about there. But have fun, you know. Make those black jerseys, those away jerseys, whatever your favorite jersey is. I'm gonna color in that sleeve right there. Now, when you color Mrs. Met's hair, you can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna use, I think she's like a like a brown, like brown hair here. When you see her like the, the updated version, but like in the 60s, she had orange hair, just like me. So you can make it orange or red if you wanted, which is really cool. I'm gonna color in her scrunchie there, her little hair tie, like a blue. Then I'll add in some color for the stitching. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So what's really fun about this drawing, like we said, is you can have a really good time 
with whatever you want in the sky, right? And let me just get that orange because I, I see this is bothering me. Let me color that in orange there. But yeah, there you go. Oh, 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 I lied to you. I forgot to color these ribbons that we spent so long talking about. <laughs> we'll color that in right there too. Great. So there you go. There's our drawing. Pretty fun, right? So we got Mr. and Mrs. Met enjoying a beautiful fireworks scene, checking it all out there, celebrating the 4th of July on there. So as we do in all of our classes, we spent a lot of time on this. We learned a lot. Let's show off how much fun we had on there. And let's sign our name, right? So I like to sign my name in the bottom right here. So you can sign it however you want. I like to put my little Herm right there. Little smiley face, yeah, look at that. And I think it's important too to date your drawing, right? That way you can see how much better your drawings have gotten over time. So today is July 1st. So let me write that right there, July 1st, 2020. Look at that, the Mets are back in Queens. Pretty cool. So excellent, so that was awesome, right? So we had a lot of fun today. We learned how to draw some fireworks and some really cool firework shapes. And remember again, just by making these little dots here, you can make anything you want in there. So I can't wait to see all of your drawings and see how creative and how much fun you guys had with all those fireworks on there. So let's take a peek, let's see, let's share those drawings. So if you wanna share off your masterpiece, I really wanna see it. So you can share it with me on Instagram, at Herm Herman. This is a good way to pop it on right there. I'm always gonna comment, I'm always gonna share it out with our, our drawing crew. If you prefer Twitter, you can tag me there at Herm's Terms, that's a good way to get me too. Uh, and then to make sure to tag the seven line because we want to we give everyone not everyone but we pick three people to give those gift cards to so that way you can kind of pop into that drawing on there and if you don't you know don't have a social media or you're a little shy or you want to send it to me and talk more personally there tag me at her not no email me at herm at hermsterms.com that's my email address and i'd love to see your drawings on there too and then one last bit if you want to see some more of my kind of artwork that I do, you can go to hermsterms.com. And I just updated my website there so you can see some of the work that I've been working on there. And there's cool too. You can check out some of, uh, I have a little online shop there. I've got a couple of my 53 home run game Pete Alonzo prints there. I think I only have three or four left. So if you want to grab that and check that all out there. But guys, thank you so much for drawing on there. Thank you so much to Sail Away Coffee again for sponsoring our show. Remember to type in HERM20, H-E-R-M-2-0, in your checkout to get 20% off. Thanks so much for drawing along with us. Baseball is back, kind of, sort of, I guess. It's going to be really exciting to kind of watch it. It's like super exciting. It last minute, everything on there. So by our next class, we'll be able to talk a little bit about, you know, the boys playing a little ball out in Queens. And it'll be really exciting. Make sure to share your drawing. Make sure to have a wonderful day and have a wonderful 4th of July, guys. Be safe and we'll see you next time, all right? Bye, see ya. Where's my thumb? Oh, there it is. Fly away. <laughs>